Hello Sweet Souls, happy Thursday. It is April 4th, and um, this is going to be an angel message reading for you guys. We're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender anyone sending ill will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. We're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. So let's see what we get for the collective. And yes, one of my followers, retrograde lasts until April 25th. So you can expect some disturbances for the collective. Wow, I see some truth coming to light. This could happen during this retrograde period. I definitely see this is truth and it is regarding someone that has been spying on you. Yeah, you're getting some sort of news, some sort of message. And this is truth being revealed. Yeah, but don't worry because you do have divine assistance helping you to move on to peace, okay? So don't be surprised if you get news about what something, someone has done in the background um, against you because there is truth being brought to light. All right, let's see. Advice for the collective. Truth and only truth. You guys know where to find all my scheduling links to have a private reading. Also, the link to Astrodipity if you're looking to meet new people. Okay, for the collective, truth and only truth for the collective. Yeah, you're never alone. You have divine support. They don't want you to worry. You are never alone. Hold on, I dropped one. Ugh. Great teacher. Learning, learn from your spiritual experience. You're definitely learning your lessons. You're gaining a lot of wisdom. This is the Holy Spirit and Jesus on this image. Um, you are... Being guided to shift your perception on things, you know, they don't want you to stay, stay so focused on the bad experiences that occurred. They really just want you to focus on what you have learned and what you can create in your life moving forward, okay? Change the way you're looking at the bad things that have happened in your past because you're about to be in the energy of the sun, having success and happiness. They don't want you to, uh, what did they just say? spoil the party they don't want you to spoil the party by letting memories of negative experiences uh dampen your mood okay this is success and happiness that's coming in yeah they want you to be open to healing information whatever this truth that's coming to light it may be painful it may hurt but it's the truth that you need to hear and when you need to hear it it's going to help you to heal when you this truth is revealed it's going to be what closes the cycle completely and it frees you up to move on. It's a release. Yeah, you're a seer. You see beyond the current situation. You have the ability to know what others do not know and you yourself already know what's coming to light. You know, you know, you already suspected it. And this truth is only validating what you already knew. They said they want you to love and let yourself be loved. Don't give karmic energies power over your life. Remain in love energy. That is the highest vibration and that is a superpower for you. Nothing can touch the vibration of love. Stay in that love energy. The more you love you, the more others will come in that will match that energy, that self-love energy. Yeah, you are the oracle. Wait for important information. You're definitely getting downloads as well as messages in the 3D that's coming in. Like I said, it, this could happen during this retrograde up to the 25th or shortly thereafter. But they're saying by summer you're going to bask in joy and light. The bee. That's also, it's abundance. I love that. Okay. Let's pull from another deck and get advice. Truth and only truth for the collective. And I'm going to call this hairstyle the retrograde hairstyle. <laughs> That's what we're calling the retrograde do. <laughs> All right. Advice for the collective. They want you to believe in your power to manifest. Breathe your creation into existence. 
you have the ability to manifest anything. I don't care if you have two cents in your pocket, you can manifest money. I don't care if you're renting an apartment, you can manifest a home. Believe in it, okay? They want you to know you are worthy. So aim for what you want and believe in yourself. And I just heard believe it's yours. Stay the course. You are moving in the right direction. You are your greatest gift. Your life's journey is your masterpiece. It's your masterpiece because the knowledge that you have gained was not for nothing. It was not a punishment. It was not to torment you. It was so that you could gain that, that experience and the knowledge from that experience so that you could move forward and, and use that, whether it's to help other people or use that in a, as a guide in your own life, okay? There was a purpose in it. You know, people that write these books, like I'm talking these world-renowned writers, they don't just, I mean, some of them create it in the imaginary world, but others, they go out and seek experiences that will gain, that will give them the knowledge they need to write about it. They do research. They have to gain knowledge in some way to create these masterpieces. It's from their own experiences, which is amazing. Then we got spend time on you balancing yourself, getting out in nature, getting grounded, praying, meditating, explore, love, create. The only thing that holds you back is you. All right, let's get a couple of this stack. The collective, truth and only truth for the collective. What do they need to know? Current energy. They said, be fearless. You are strong enough to enter this new chapter. Yeah. You've been going through a huge transformation. You could be seeing 333. Three, three. I have 333 three, three on the table. Actually, I have four threes on the table. 3, 30, and 33. You may be seeing a lot of threes. That is the Ascended Masters coming in to help you. You may feel like you are in a timeout, stuck, stagnant, not seeing any progress. But what you don't see is the spiritual realm is working in your favor. They are guiding you toward your sacred journey, your destined path. But you first had to complete your shadow work. So they said, keep going, keep going, keep pushing forward. All right, let's do the star seed oracle. For the collective, truth and only truth for the collective. See what we got. We got the breath of the cosmos, my will to thy will, micromanaging the universe. Don't try to control the outcome. Don't try to control anything. Be open to the information you get and take the inspired action when you get it. When they tell you or they give you that nudge to take an action, do it. But don't worry about the outcome. You're not going to have all the answers. That's what a leap of faith is. Taking that leap before you know everything but trusting that God is going to catch you, okay? Uh, star bathing, light body, crystal grid, transmission, and activation. Going through a huge shift, a huge activation. Stepping into a higher timeline. The golden children, inner child, tenderness, inner, innocence, and rare gifts. For some of you, your spiritual gifts are going to be highlighted during this transformation. Fall into my arms, surrender, holding the opposites, extremes of life. God is saying, just give me your burden. Fall into my arms. Let me carry you. Let me take that burden from you. Surrender it to God. The void. Stop. Embrace winter. Great cosmic wound. You know, this is like feeling like you're going through the darkness. They don't want you to fear the darkness. They don't want you to fear the unknown. They want you to trust. Surrender it all to God and know that God has your back. God will catch you. God will guide you. If God knows about every bird on this planet, and anytime any bird falls to the ground, why do you think God doesn't know everything about you? 
Wait, in the Bible, it says every hair on your head is numbered. Every single hair of your head. If he is that interested in you, all the way down to every hair that's numbered on your head, do you think God doesn't want the best for you? He would do anything. He just asks for your love and you to surrender to him. He will do anything to help you. It looks like an, a robin or an oriole. I can't tell because I'm blind, but expect it's a robin which robin is spiritual protection um to me a robin is spiritual protection okay sorry i got distracted all right anything else that the collective needs to be aware of you know they want you to know the devils that have worked with the community, devil energy, working with a group of people to oppose you is a compliment. You're doing everything right. If you have multiple people out here trying to do toxic things, devilish things to get to you, you're doing everything right. It's your light that they are afraid of. St. Michael is saying, don't worry about these deceivers. St. Michael is protecting you and defending you, and you will have victory. Judgment is being called over those in this devil energy working in a group trying to oppose you. St. Michael is protecting you. So that's all you need to know. He is definitely protecting you. He's got, he's got it covered. Okay? He's got it covered. All right. What else do we need to know? I'll do some for my deck. You can purchase this deck if you're interested. Just email me. All right. What messages do you have for the collective, please? What messages do you have for the collective, please? Wow. Those people that are opposing you, they are immoral and they have no integrity. They are going through a tower moment and you are being guided toward your destined path. That's why they want you to stay focused on where you're going, not where you've been, okay? Yeah. Yeah. These people are going to have health issues, spiritual disease, and again, you have protection. St. Michael, divine protection. You are being guided toward abundance, financial stability, and blessings because you are this empress, divine femme energy, empress energy. I love when they validate what already came out. You got this player here from your past in a karmic connection and they're going to have legal issues. This is a part of their karma for wishing ill will on you. I don't even like to speak that. This is someone that could have fireplace. Um, you or someone else could have fire, fire placements. Aries Leo Sag. They're saying redirect your thoughts to positive thinking. You have gone through a spiritual awakening, ascension, and you are a light worker, a healer. For some of you, you're going to be getting a new home. You're going to be called to physically re relocate. You are spiritually gifted, and they want you to continue to get more connected. Pray more, meditate more. Okay? All right, guys. This is your second reading. I love you, and I hope that you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.